We are here today to restore propeller scars. And the way we do this is we use these sediment tubes, which are biodegradable cotton, which we fill with sand. And this tube actually lays inside of the prop scar, stabilizing the area, bringing the nutrients and the macroalgaes in to allow the area to actually get the seagrass back to where it needs to be. The seagrass is the nursery of the sea. It's the habitats, it's where the juvenile fish are born, it's where the, the feeding grounds for other fish. It, it traps the, the sediment grading the water quality and making the water great. Seagrass is really what makes Florida Keys the Florida Keys. And seagrass is eroding and it's going away and it's a, it needs to be restored. We're losing seagrass through, through prop scarring, through physical disturbance from boats. We want to prevent these things from happening, but we also need to start restoring the Florida Keys one bank at a time and do it on a scale that makes a difference uh, to the environment. When you look at a prop scar with the current and the wave energy on a day like today, the actual scar, it actually will erode, get bigger, and it could ultimately take over the entire bed. So by putting these tubes in, it actually stabilizes the area, allowing the macroalgae and the nutrients to get back into that area to support seagrass life and recolonization over the area. You'll see recover in 18 to 24 months. Sometimes you'll get natural recolonization over the scars themselves, depending on the width of the scars, or we'll come back and we'll actually plant inside the tubes as well, about three or four months after we put them in the water. We are bringing back the seagrass habitats, which therefore will, will have a dramatic effect on the entire ecosystem of the Fort Keys.